So as you can see, who said you can't make a budget controller work with record box? Hey there guys, it's Tommy from Mobile DJ Detectives UK and today I'm going to be showing you guys the cheapest controller I bought on eBay and um, well let's just say it was cheap. Uh, this cost me about £20 in the UK, uh, it's about $24 US and um, I don't know what it may be wherever you may be in the world but it was cheap, very very cheap and uh, this is it. It is the Newmark dj to go uh, not the dj to go 2 with the built-in sound card. This is just the dj to go without the inbuilt sound card in the unit. So um, I was thinking to myself, why not get the cheapest controller on eBay to work with Rekordbox DJ by Pioneer? Will it work? Guess we're going to find out. Okay, it's literally now the next day. I have spent a good couple of hours uh, mapping the Newmark DJ to go to Record Box DJ. Now, um, just before we do get into the actual mapping and to prove to you that everything is perfectly working fine, there is only a couple of issues, um, and that is obviously the jog wheels. They are locked out, um, completely locked out. And uh, I believe this is a software lockout so apparently there's like a hack out there that you can use i've tried it it doesn't work so um it is a software lockout so obviously they want you to go for their own branded uh, controllers they don't want you to use other controllers really with their software it's understandable and uh, also the uh, tempo sliders on the left and right so i don't know if you can see up at the top here it says minus and increase so obviously to decrease the tempo increase the tempo the same on both sides here so now if you want to increase your tempo you've got to go up to the minus and to decrease your tempo you have to bring it down that's the only two issues um, apart from that it works perfectly fine um, I've had I've had like instances where I've tried to see if I can uh, change this around but for some reason, that's just the way Rekordbox recognizes it in the software. Um, if I find a solution to that, I will um, obviously update the mapping. So um, as you can see, I've got it plugged in already. This is plugged in and um, I'm going to prove to you now that it's not just hanging here. So I'm going to go up to the little gear icon just up on the top right hand corner to preferences. I'm going to go to audio. And I'm going to go scroll down to the bottom, and as you can see, it says control device information, Newmark DJ to go. This is what's plugged in, this is what's in front of me. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to start off with the center. As you can see, it's got the browse function, so you've got your browse knob. So if I go up and down, that works perfectly fine. Also, you've got load A, load B. So let's say now. I'm going to load demo track one into deck A. So I'm just going to press A. And as you can see, it loads into deck A. And then I'm going to load it into deck B for demo track two. And that's that. So if I wanted to have a look at the crates, I would just need to press back and then scroll down with the browse knob. And as you can see, I can browse the crates. And if I wanted to go back into my current playlist, I'm just going to press enter. And I'm back into my current playlist. So the browse functions do completely work. Um, now we're going to go along and we're going to start off with the left side of the deck, deck A, which is obviously going to be the exact sign for deck B. So I'm going to go along and we're going to play um, track one. Well, actually, before we press, press play, we're going to queue it. So if you're going to be queuing, obviously it's going to be for your headphones here. So obviously you're going to have your headphones pressed in and the Q button then to cue your mix. So as you can see, that's literally Q in there. And if I just press Q again, it stops it. So then if I press play, and if I was to move these jog wheels, as you can see, I am locked out. So the play and pause also works. 
So if you want to go back, obviously you're going to have to scroll back with your mouse or whatever. It's a bit annoying, but mind you, if you're going to be using this in your bedroom or even for a gig, you will literally be um, running from your laptop only anyway, uh, because obviously this doesn't have an audio card. So you'll be using an audio card that's already in your computer anyway. So um, now we're going to go move on to the sync function. So if I press sync, then you can see that it says right here, beat sync master. I press it again, it turns it off back on again. So as you can see, that's all on there. Press play again. And then if I was to press sync on deck B, and then I'm going to press play. And that's all synced up. So as you can see, the sync function works perfectly fine. So now we're going to go back to deck A, press play again. Now we're going to have a look at the tempo, which I was telling you about. So if I want to decrease it, instead of going down to the increase, which is on the bottom, you actually need to go up towards the minus. And as you can see, it has increased the tempo. Turn up a little bit louder here. Okay, so then if I wanted to decrease it, I'm going to go and bring it towards the plus, which is on the multi digital itself. Okay, so now if you wanted to increase your trim, I've just switched it over so you can see the mixer section also there. Um, if you want to increase your trim, now if you watch the trim on the deck 8, which is this one right here. I'm going to go along and I'm going to go bring up, bring it down. As you can see, it infinite kills the track all together. I'm going to bring up the trim all the way back up. So the trim works. Also, the headphone cue also works. Um, if you're going to be queuing the mix up through your headphone jack on your computer, the headphones, I can confirm, do also work. So then you've got your pitch bend. Um, the pitch bend is always working perfectly fine. So if I want to increase it, I'm going to go along and press the plus. And if I want to decrease it, I just press the minus. So as you can see, so then the pitch bend also works perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to also um, add into the mapping a way to cut it off because sometimes it doesn't want to go back to its normal. So now we're going to go over to the crossfader here. So I'm going to play both tracks here. So let's know if you want to go to deck A only. And then you want to cross over to deck B. So as you can see, the crossfader works perfectly fine. Now you're probably all gonna also notice that if you look at the mixer section here, the volume levels or the channel faders are always going to be up on the software. Now, this is one thing I would advise you just keep up because obviously we don't actually have any channel faders on the controller itself. Um, obviously it's a budget compact controller. So uh, there is no channel faders. So let's know if you were to turn that off completely. I press play. As you can see, it's playing, but there is no volume coming out from that channel because you need to bring up the channel fader like so. So just if you're going to be mixing, just use the cross fader to go from left, left to right, right to left. It's as simple as that. And then if you do want it to cue, like let's know if you wanted to cue your music. Let's know if I've got uh, deck B playing here. All I've got to do is obviously just have my headphones on whatever volume you want to have there. So I would only have it about there. Press your headphones and then you can cue your headphones. Uh, cue your next track for your headphones using your computer audio card. And you should have no issues there. 
So as you can see, who said you can't make a budget controller work with Rekordbox? Okay, so as you can see, there you go. That is proof that you can actually map a budget controller like the Newmark DJ to go with Rekordbox DJ. Obviously, there is a couple of issues which I will try to sort in an update of the mapping once I figure that out. So obviously, it's the jog wheels. It's your tempo up and down. So instead of the positive being, so instead of the uh, increase or the plus uh, tempo to increase it, it's actually going to decrease it and to the minus to decrease your tempo is actually to increase it so it's just reversed so plus is is to slow down minus is to increase obviously the joggles don't uh, do not work even with the mapping i did with the pioneer ddj uh, s1 uh, the joggles also did not work with that and i think it's a software lockout now there is a hack a, a, a hack apparently that works with um record box dj so you can get the so the job goes to work but i've tried it it does not work it's not proven to work so if you read up in the forums or anything like that that there is a hack that you can get your job goes to work it doesn't work also with the pitch bend um sometimes the pitch bend gets a little bit stuck and you can't go back i will also work on a fix for this uh, once i figure out the issue with that mapping um so for the time being as you can see, as it is, it does work perfectly fine for a bedroom DJ or someone who wants to kind of get their hands dirty with a cheap controller and get, as you can see, record box working with it. Uh, this is the best solution, obviously. As I said, like, you have a couple of issues, but uh, you've got nothing really to worry about because you won't be really, really messing around much with the pitch and stuff like that. When you're starting out anyway um and plus if you're working from a laptop you're and this you're not really going to be using your pitch anyway uh so as you can see everything works perfectly fine except for the issues that i've mentioned as soon as i figure them out i will update the mapping um so yeah there you go i, I don't know what else i can say towards that everything is it is what it is it's working perfectly fine so um cheap ebay controller working on record box dj who would have ever thought so guys if you like these videos give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down the choice is completely up to you also feel free to subscribe it costs you guys absolutely nothing it supports the channel it helps me out a hell of a lot and um by the way if you want to see any of the uh links to the mapping so the mapping for this and also the mapping to the ddj s1 it's going to be in the description box below um so yeah feel free to check it out and uh practice and enjoy, keep safe.